So I turn 18 and I figure, well, I'm an adult now. It's time for me to be a star. It's time for me to put on my own show and be whoever I want to be. I'm tired of being myself. I'm tired of being Val. I want to be famous. I can become Cher and it's a firework. When I can become Michael Jackson, it's a firework. I become Lady Gaga and it's like 10 fireworks. So I go to this really badass theater and I say, look, here's what I want to do. I want to be a star and you're going to help me. So they said yes. So I literally went everywhere to get the money to do it. By some miraculous fortune, we raised the money by going, you know, everywhere imaginable. We go to donut shops, cupcake stores, daycares. We get the cash. We get the theater. And then we get the auditions. Next thing I know, this all-star cast, you know, rehearsals, rehearsals, dance rehearsals, stilettos, scratch marks on the stage. We had to paint the stage because my shoes ruined the stage. But it was great. It was like one of those pleasurable pains. You know, the stage loved it. Every time I'd get a blister on my foot from doing a dance, I wouldn't care because this is what I've wanted to do my whole life. And with pleasure comes pain. Being stabbed in the scalp by bobby pins or being violated by a leotard. That shit don't bother me. It's about the art. You don't give a shit about the pain. Opening night comes. Literally every costume change backstage is orgasmic. Putting on a new wig is like taking off your bra in front of a guy for the very first time. It's liberating. It's wonderful. I can become someone else just by changing my hair, applying a different makeup. For the first part, I was Michael Jackson. I was a man. I had a penis. It was wonderful. And then literally, you know, I did the songs and then two minutes later, I'm Lady Gaga. The penis is gone. I'm no longer an African-American male. I'm a female, blonde, badass. Two minutes later, I'm Cher probably the greatest diva that ever lived. Two minutes later, I'm Cindy Lauper. I'm she-bopping in public, and I love it. It was so wonderful to go out on the stage and be all these people, and to let audiences see me be all these people, and just express myself in the ways that these artists express themselves, and to have these local teenagers dancing with me and just enjoying themselves, wearing costumes, wearing robotic space wings, and we're doing the they don't care about you dance in motorcycle helmets, and I love it so much. It's an adventure, and to be on that stage and to be those guys in front of the audience, to be the masters, it's a dream, and it was just the most liberating, orgasmic thing I've ever experienced, just to go out there and listen to the claps and hear the screams and, oh my gosh, and it's because of me, you know, it's something that I did. I did it. I wanted to do it, and I did it, and it was great, and everyone enjoyed themselves. Everyone in the show did. It was like an orgy, but, you know, family appropriate. We went home that night and we drank a little. There was no end. We were still the stars, you know. We're still the stars. We're always the stars. Even to this day, because of that performance, I'm still a star to this day. Even if I'm walking down the hall in my pajamas, I'm a fucking star. And it sounds ridiculous, but oh my gosh, if you had been there, if you had been the one leaving the scratch marks on the stage, you would have just, you would have felt the orgasms the way I did.